Hello everyone. Um, it's time for me to start to get serious now with some of my videos. And I have decided to talk about the subject um, of the shooting and of hate right now. Uh, I didn't want to talk about the shooting yet until I read some more about it. And I'm still shocked at what happened. Now I want to say that um, I'm sad and still shocked for everyone and the victims, but also a piece of me is sad for what happened to cause this guy to become this way. Um, I wanted, you know, I was prayed a lot about it and thought a lot about it and. This kid had probably some really major, major things wrong with him, especially from um, all of the things that he wrote, all of the the um, different things they said he did throughout his life, uh, you know, always being disturbed since he was a young boy. Um, I think they said he was had autism. Um, but, I mean, what caused all of this? What caused the anger and aggression? Now, I know that some people have mental imbalances and stuff, and it just can happen, but, I mean, the videos that he sent into them, the way that he says things, the talking and everything, it kind of points out that he maybe have had a very bad past. Now, um, you know, I'm not condoning a thing that he did. I, I cannot believe what happened. And all I'm saying is, is when we, um, when those of you who pray or think about the families, who and the and the victims and stuff who went through this, also think about maybe about his family. I don't know what about them yet, and you know, just pray that uh, this actually, you know, you can actually just feel sorry that something happened that, to make a person that way, because it's really sad what can happen in this world to make a person snap like that. Um, I know that he should have had a better um, control of himself, but sometimes we just can't control ourselves when it goes too far. Our mind can play some dirty tricks on us. Things can really badly happen. I mean, there's even, there's even things out there that drive people to kill themselves from a medicine they took or something. Mind can really make us messed up, but a lot of times it can be pressured. It can be made to mess up. It can start small and then build and build and build, and then boom, it's like a big piece of dynamite exploding. And that's what happened here, I believe. I believe that he must have been a tortured soul and had some major problems. And because of what he already had problems with his, uh, the you know mentality and everything, that it was, it struck something and he went insane and he took these people out. This is a tragic, tragic thing that happened, and I'm you know I'm so sorry for what happened to these people. They did not deserve to be in class and then the next minute they're gone. Uh, that's not a way to go out. And I offer my. Uh, thoughts and prayers to the families, to the, the people who lost their lives, and to the family of this kid, too. I mean, I, you know, I hope that, um, hopefully if he did have something wrong with him and didn't, you know, it's like, if, if this was all stuff that happened because of stuff that shouldn't have happened to him, I hope that maybe now, and, um, at, you know, wherever he went, if he that he can maybe get a second chance or maybe, I don't know, I, I, I don't want to sound like I'm condoning him. All I'm saying is, is I just hope that he will learn you know, what happened was wrong and I hope that a lot of people will learn what can happen to other people is wrong too. Um, hate is a big thing going on now. It's been going on for years and years and years and it's just starting uh, to get worse for a lot more people. I mean, the discrimination against people with disability has gotten to the point where it's just as or even worse than racism. Um, 
I know that's a big thing to say, but, you know, all colors can be fat. All colors can have problems, up, so, you know, and everybody gets put down for stuff. And it's very sad. I mean, because someone's different. You know, if they're autistic, if they're, they're short, another race, if they sound funny because they have a, an accent, if they're, you know, if they're fat, you know, too skinny, tall, sh uh, you know, anything happens, anything. And they get, they get tortured by people who think they're better. Um, if they're poor, he said stuff about rich kids, if they're, you know, a lot of poor kids get tortured because they can't afford good clothes that kids bring. And, um, you know, I mean, what happened? I mean, what happened to beliefs like in uh, Martin Luther King and, I mean, you know, in Abraham Lincoln? All men are created equal. I mean, that didn't just go for race. You know, I don't believe that. I believe everybody is. You know, you walk down the street and you see people all around you. You're no better than them and they're no better than you. We're all human beings. We all come from, the, you know... We all come from the same blood and bodies. Our, we have bones and everything. You know, we're just different. And my belief, I believe God created us. And, you know, we might look different and have different things, but we're all humans. And we take advantage of trying to be the better one, trying to make people feel bad. And, you know, I mean, it's not going to get this future any better if we keep going. This is going to be a lot more of what happened. There's going to be a lot more shooting, and it's crazy. There's going to be a lot more stories of kids going crazy, and our uh, people hurting themselves or killing themselves. And it shouldn't happen. I mean, we should really accept each other for who we are. We should go out and uh, help people. If you feel someone's unhealthy or something, show compassion and offer help to them. Instead of pointing at him and calling him fat or lazy or disgusting, you know, become their friend, offer to help them. Maybe you tell them you're worried about them and you don't want them to die. Maybe find out really what's wrong with them and maybe they have a reason other than what you assume. You know, the, the old saying, don't judge a book by its cover, you know, that really does work. If you don't judge it, you might find out there's something totally different inside. So, um, basically... This video is almost over because of the time limit that YouTube gives, but I just want to say that this should have never happened. I'm very upset that these people had to lose their lives because of something that messed up this boy's mind. He should have never had to die. They should have never had to die. And we should not ever have this happen again. It should have never happened at all, but I pray to God that something like this never happens again. I know it will, though, because people, you know, they uh, hate this a big thing in this world. Where there's good, there's evil. But this is where we have to start going against the evil and start showing more good of ourselves. You know, a lot of people became united after 9-11, and that's kind of seemed like it's died down since then. And why? You know, why can't uh, why can we have be a big you know, brotherhood and group of people who love and and understand each other and have compassion and help each other. You know, in the old days, your fellow man, you know, if he was lose his job, you'd pitch in and sell stuff or help with money and stuff with your neighbors. And, you know, if something would happen to somebody, you'd, you know, help with their bills. Or or if, you you know, the children was in the hospital, you'd help with their payments if they were poor. Or giving money and stuff away to charities and things. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of people out there are poor and everything, too. They can't do that, but... Just saying hello to a person and a smile can change the world. Some people go around all the time feeling like nobody cares about them. If you were to open your heart to someone, show them that you care, to pray for them, to hug them, to give them a, a gesture of you know, courtesy, to carry their bags for them or something, anything, just show love. Just stop this hate. And no matter you know what they are, who they are, where they come from, don't judge them. And this stuff doesn't have to happen. Um, I sent out my love and prayers to everybody that was affected by this. To all of the family and students and the people who lost their lives at Virginia Tech. I pray for you all. And I hope the healing can begin now. God bless you all. I love you.
Goodbye.